And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at a game called Truffle Shuffle from AEG. Now this has nothing to do with the Goonies, as I'm sure comments in the YouTube selection would have already been doing that, but it actually is about truffles. In fact, this is made from the same design team that made the very big hit from last year from AEG, Point Salad. And this is a game in which you will be drafting different chocolates and then turning in sets of them for points. A very simple card game. Here's how it plays. No matter how many players are playing the game, you're always going to set it up the same way here. Five face-up cards and six face-down on top of that, and you're going to be doing that three times over the course of the game, which uses every card in the deck. You're also going to be putting a certain number of coins down here. This is affected by player count, so I have it here set up for four players. On a player's turn, they have two uh, different things they can do. One of the things, and this is what you'll be doing most of the time, is simply taking a card into your hand. So uh, here I don't know what's on the other side of the card, but I know it's a green card. Like this is a green card. Oh, it's a green three. I can take that in my hand. You can only take a card that you can pick up without moving another card. So for example, once this one comes up, then this one can be taken. Once this one comes up, both of these are available. When this one comes up, this one can be taken, and so on and so forth. And other options you can have, instead of taking a card, you can play a special action card. There's two of them. This one here, you play this to take two cards on your turn. One, two. Uh, or this one you can play, which skips your turn completely. You can do nothing else in your turn, but on your next turn, you get to draw three cards. Now, at the end of a player's turn, they can turn in a set of cards. This is an optional thing. You can always do this unless you play the skip, and you can do it once per turn. There are different sets. I can turn in one of each color for three points. Four of the same color for three points. A small straight, one, two, three, four, for four points. A straight flush, which means one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, of the same color. A large straight, one, two, three, four, five, a large straight of the same color. And then a number set. I can turn in one, one for one point, or five, fives for five points. And then if I do all that of the same color, that's worth more points. So if I have two twos of the same color, or five fives of the same color, you can see I get 10 points for that. Now players can decide how they want to do that when they're discarding cards from their hand. I might have these four cards in my hand. This is four fours. I can turn this in to get points. I'll get four points for doing that. But I might want to turn in all the same color. So maybe I can do that in different ways. Maybe instead of the green four, I can play this equal. This is a purple card, but it turns into the same card as one other one. So now I have two purple fours. And maybe I'll play this color change card, which lets me change this pink four to a purple four. And then instead of playing this one, I'll play this purple three, but I'll play this number change. change it's still a purple card, but I'll change this to a four. Now, even though I had to play a lot of cards to do so, I played four fours of the same color, and so I'll get eight points instead. The first person to turn in any sort of cards will take the first bonus point coins here. So even if I turned in a single one card of one type, a single one one to get one point, I can do that and take these extra two coins. And then so the first person to turn in sets will get these bonus coins besides the coins that they earn for their sets. At the end of a round, when the last card is taken, that person gets to finish their turn, and then everyone needs to discard their hands down to the number of players. So even if you were getting ready to do a bunch of sets, if it's like a two-player game, I'd have to go down to two cards at the end of a round. So you got to be careful not to have too many cards in your hand. Um, in a four-player game, you have four cards. And at the end of the game, same thing. And it, well, you don't have to discard down, but you can't make more sets at the end of the game. You have to make the sets during the game itself. At the end of the game, whoever has the most money is the winner. And hurrah! Card quality for the game is fine. Uh, I really like the artwork on these cards. I like the fact that the back of the card is a color. You don't know what it is, but you know that it's probably a card of that color or it's some sort of special card. That might be my only complaint about these. Some of the ones like these, this is a take two. This is not a, this is a yellow card, right? But it's not a yellow card on the other side. So I would have preferred that the action cards had just been a different color. Like there's no blue, so I would have made them blue 
just to differentiate them so you remember that they're action cards. But that's it. The coins themselves, they're chocolate coins. You can see the, the wrapping being peeled off of them. They're fine, although just realize there's a lot of 10s and 20s because you do need to make change a lot in this game. Everything fits nicely in this box. It's very good quality. There's a lot of things to like about Truffle Shuffle. I tend to like drafting. This sort of drafting where the cards are placed in the table and you take one is used in very few games. The one that most people would know would be Seven Wonders Duel. But it's a solid way to do it. You can see the cards there. There's a little bit of it. If I take this, I open that card up for, you know, Susan. And I already saw Susan take a five. Am I going to give her another five? Or even, you know, the, you just got to be careful what cards you're giving to other people. At the same time, you want to force someone maybe to take a card that opens up a spot for you to take, which makes this a really nice back and forth two player game, really, because you have that, this drafting system works really well for that. But it also expands well into four. And so the drafting part of this game I like a lot. I also like that you will see every card in this game. So that part is really solid. And I think a lot of people are gonna enjoy the game based on that. The other thing people will like or not like about the game, but I like it, is it has a bit of a push your luck feel to it. I can turn in a set of four fours, for example, for four points. Maybe I even want to do that because I'm, I'm, if I'm the first person to turn in a set, I can get an extra two. That's six points. But if I just wait till I get one more green four, then I'll turn in four green fours or a card that changes colors. And so you have that aspect, but if you also wait too long, and this is definitely a game where as the cards, as you get close to the end, I, it definitely has happened, and I imagine it might happen in many games where you say, stop. I like to count the cards. If you take a card, you take a card, you take a card. Hmm, I better play my set now, you know, instead of waiting. Because discarding cards at the end of a round can be very... Oh, I drafted these cards for no reason. I'm not going to be able to get to use them. And I really enjoy that feel. It has that push your luck aspect to it. Another thing is I think I really was amused by them taking two of the cards from Uno, the skip and the draw two, and here they call it a take two, but it's the same thing. And instead of playing them on another player, you play them on yourself. Draw two. I want to take two. So when you take a draw two, you're waiting for later on in the game when there's two cards you want. Essentially, you're saying, I don't really want a card now. I'll take this, but later on, I'll be able to take two cards. And you can mess someone else up. If they're like taking one card, then you're forced to take this card, and I get the other one. No way. I got to draw two. Take your card. I'm taking both those cards. I like that. And I really like the skip because a skip is useful for two reasons. Sometimes there's no card you want. I'll skip my turn. But then next turn, you get to take three that's just really solid. And then there's all the other cards. The wild cards are probably better than the rest of the cards. The change color and change number cards are good in certain situations. The cards is the same as another card. That card's fantastic in different situations. And I just like how the whole thing comes together. It's a nice, solid little game. I know the question people are going to ask, is it as good as Point Salad? Only time will tell on that. Currently, I'd probably like Point Salad better. But the fact of the matter is, is they're both very different games. They're in the same category. A light, simple card game that, that scales, in this case, two to four players really well. And it plays fairly quickly and yet feels like you played a full, involved game. And so this is a, another, another hit from these guys. And also, I really like the theme. Truffles is just a cool theme for a game. So you can play your point salad first for lunch and then for dessert, Truffle Shuffle. Drafting, scaling well, it's a nice little game in a box. Truffle Shuffle, another good little game from AEG. Dice Tower Judgment approved.